Shalom. Call her Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, among the heathen that look like the heathen. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming into another lesson in truth. And um, I saw a couple videos uh, with different brothers in the spirit talked about Joel 2, the second chapter, with the, uh, the missiles being like men, like soldiers, you know, marching and, and how they're not going to break ranks. And, um, and, uh, and as I was listening, I started reading Joel and I was and I, you know, got to the third chapter. I'm like, well, the reason for Joel, two is because of Joel three. So we're going to start there. So I'm going to start. Let's go to book of Joel. Um, because it's a recompense. It's time for the Lord's vengeance. The time of the uh, recompense for the controversy of Zion. But this is uh, Joel, the third chapter. And I'm going to start at verse one. I'm going to read through 13. All right. And it reads. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. I mean, he's going to end it. All right. He's going to bring it back, make it go away. And I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them for my people, for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So the true nation of Israel is scattered among all people. And some of our people look like the heathen nations that they're scattered to. So the Lord promised he was going to gather us up from out of all the uh, places where we were scattered to. All right. That's that's written in the scriptures for it is written. So it shall be. All right. Um, and then they divided the land. So you have uh, Israelis who are Edomites, Amalek over there. And you have Palestinians over there who are Ishmael. All right. And, of course, there's some scattered among both of those. But nevertheless, the people of Israel, the true, the true the sons and daughters, uh, are, are not there, all right, collectively. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink, you know. And they traded us for musket guns and, and wine, for rum, all right. They made movies about it, sung songs about it in musicals, all right. Um... And uh, they did this to both the northern and the southern kingdom. Jeremiah 50 and 33 says Judah and Jerusalem were basically in captivity uh, in bondage together. Verse 4. Yeah, that, you, that what do you have to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and the coast of Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon my head? And in Tyre and Zidon represent African nations. All right. And um, Palestine, even though the, the true Philist Philistines were, were Hamites, uh, Ishmael was heavily involved in the slave trade. As a matter of fact, it started with Ishmael first. Esau learned from Ishmael. He just did it way worse and for much longer. All right. Um, verse verse five. Oh, and when you, and you um, before we verse five, just a footnote. When you read that, uh, when you watch the original movie of Roots. They give you, they show you a perfect example that round around the 40th minute, be somewhere between the 40th minute and the 44th minute. They show you uh, uh, Hamites, Ishmaelites, and Grecians, uh, the Edomites capturing uh, Israelites, you know, the, the people of uh, from West Africa. All right. Because the people on the West Coast of Africa were mainly uh, Israelites, especially back then during the beginning stages of the, of the slave trade. Verse 5, because you have taken my silver and gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Now they're going back. All right. You know, that, because you can take this all the way back to uh, uh, to the to the destruction of Jerusalem when the, when the Edomites entered into there. You know, Titus. Um, and it says. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians, proven that, that, you know, that the northern kingdom was being sold by the so-called white man first. Because we've got to remember uh, when Christopher Columbus and went over there with those uh, sellout 
Hebrew interpreters, those Moors and those uh, uh, Sephardic Jews, and started uh, conquering and, and enslaving the northern kingdom first, so-called natives of the islands in, in the Americas. All right. And they were also because they were bringing them back to Europe and selling them to the uh, to the Edomites in Europe. All right. So it says the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye ye might remove them far from their border. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to get bad. And it says. Behold, I will raise them up out of the place where you have sold them. And will return your recompense upon your head. And that's where we are now. Because this mass awakening in those places where we got scattered and lost our heritage and forgot who we were, were enslaved and mistreated. Now that you have this great awakening, uh, and not only here in Babylon, but around the world. Okay? Israelites around the world uh, uh, have awakened. And to the, to the terror and fear of these Edomites. That's why they're preparing these missiles and practicing with these, uh, uh, with these ballistic missiles. All right. And it says, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah. And they and this is what they fear. They've always feared the payback. All right. And into the hands of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians and the people far off. For Yahweh have spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up your mighty men. Let the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And since we've been preaching this gospel, this is where we are now. So the Lord is, has, has done a great work in the earth um, by putting it, putting, you know, putting the, the, the word, his word into our mouths and through us speaking this on the internet and this gospel going to the four corners of the earth. Now the, the, our, our prayers and, our, and, 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 and the sins of Esau, Edom and the heathen have reached un, 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 unto the, uh, you know, unto the heavens. And now the Lord is answering it. All right. He's bringing, he's destroying them. With, with plagues and famine and all and disease and violence and uh, it's all coming even if even when it's coming by their own hand it's because he's putting the spirit on them to do so all right and now these nations are gathering uh in in in, in the valley of jehoshaphat you know that's in there they're there and they, they've never left and they're just going to regather there and that's going to be the epicenter of this third world's war even though it's going to be a world's a world war the ep, you know the epicenter is going to be in the valley of jehoshaphat and it says, uh, and it says, uh, beat your plowshares into swords and your pewn hooks into spears and let the weak say I'm strong. Now you got these weak nations challenging uh, uh, the superpowers and they have missiles too. And they're joining together. All right. And it says, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither cause the mighty ones to come down O Yahweh, and let the heathen be awakened and come up from the valley of Jehoshaphat in the Yahweh Shepot. You know, that's where the Lord is going to plead with them. For there I would judge all the heathen round about, put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full and the, the, uh, the fat overflow. For their wickedness is great. So the Lord is going to put in his sickle. And the sickle is an instrument uh, 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 to cut things down. With her. And so he's 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 uh, comparing the, the heathen to, to, to a harvest that's going to be cut down with a sickle. All right. So this is getting ready to be great death and blood and punishment for what was done. All right. And then and then these hard headed uh, uh, Israelites that don't want to listen, you know, and, and that matter of fact, let's go to. Uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, and I'm going to start with uh, verse 8, read through like 12, and it reads, um, I'm going to start at verse 7, all right, let's start at verse 7, and it reads, uh, and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So that's the people, you know, who the men, the prophets that have been uh, hazarding their lives, going on the highways and byways, standing bold in the face of the, uh, in, in the face of the enemy that, you know, um, doing this work, put, putting up the videos, edifying the flock, defending the gospel, 
correcting these uh these Israelites who get it wrong, all right, and 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 trying to correct them, even though harshly showing them love, showing them that look, no brother, what you're doing is wrong. This is the right way, you know. Um, but what you know, doing doing the work of your by Shem that was shy, and it says uh, verse eight shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and with my borders for I have sanctified them uh, from the beginning alright then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment so they're going to dwell in torments because what you have to stand, understand before these missiles are fired and the spirit of the Lord uh, get on them and he guide them all to Babylon and to where he wants to go. Uh, the the famine, the 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 purge like uh, scenario, you know, like the movie Forever Purge, the purge movies. The, the it's going to be far worse because it's not going to be a a twelve hour period and it's over. It's going to be day after day after day. All right, no food, no water, no lights, no emergency services. All right, your building catches on fire if you don't have fire extinguishers to extinguish the fire or water to get it out quick. It's just, it's just going to burn down, all right? Uh, you're going to have uh, men and women being raped, gang raped repeatedly over and over for weeks and days and months at a time. I mean, you're talking about, uh, uh, um, you know, it's going to be it's, it's going to be cannibalism. It's going to be no food, man. They're talking about a, a food, major food crisis around the whole world this year, by the, you know, sometime this year. And with all the destruction and the purposeful destruction of the food supplies, um, here in America, it's, it's beyond obvious that they're doing its own purpose. Bill Gates bought up all the, uh, 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 you know, bought up all this farmland, and now they're they're actually uh, want to feed you with with uh, 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 you know meat. That that's and you you, know, you can see from the camera on this uh, on this missile, <laughs> this test missile that the Earth is round. <laughs> you know, for those people who want to make it flat. All right, want to argue about that. You can see the curvature in it. But anyway, um, but it's just going to be complete and total chaos out here. All right. Complete and total chaos. And it says. Um, and it says, for as much as in their lifetime have received benefits and have not known me. So getting benefits from who? Esau, you know, child support, you know, uh, 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 the, the wick, the snap, you know, uh, uh, grants for college educations, especially for women, you know, among the, you know, uh, you know, all these different benefits that they got to keep them not uh, believing in the Lord and not needing and leaning on the Lord, you know. And it says, for as much as as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, all right, and they that have loathed my law, scoff, talk crap, and on the videos, you know, try to curse out the men of the Lord. Uh, when these women who 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 leave the men of the Lord commit adultery, these these men who walk away from the truth, all right, or hear the truth and scoff at it, you, you know, I man, shoot, sure, I'm going to the league, <laughs> you know, the hell what you talking about? And it says, while they had yet liberty, and when yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. So they're gonna die painfully. When those missiles began to march like soldiers in Joel, the, uh, the second chapter. So this is Joel 2, and it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. All right. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. So the day of the Lord is, is going to be horrifying and terrible. All right. It says a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, all right, as a great, uh, a great people and a strong that have not been ever, ever, ever like, neither shall be any more after it, even the years of many generations. All right, so he's literally talking about these uh, uh, one thousand thousand missiles that are gonna, and that's what it, it says one thousand thousand, which is two hundred million, you know, and, and, and the majority of those missiles are gonna be aimed at Babylon. You know, everybody, everybody's going to turn on Babylon. It was perfect timing that they did this ballistic thing right here as we were reading that portion. And it says, uh, A fire devoureth before them and behind them 
And that's what you see. You see a fire in front of them when they explode, the missile heads, and the fire behind them propelling them. All right? He's referring to these missiles as soldiers because Joel didn't know what he was looking at when he when he was given this vision. All right? And he and he just saw the destruction and the death that they were doing. All right? And you know, and Peter had talked about how they were melting the elements. What can melt the concrete, the steel, the trees, the stones, and all the elements where there's nothing left but dust? The uh, ICBM... Uh, missile fire, the, the nuclear fire that's going to come from all these missiles, from these 1,000,000 missiles that are going to be launched, okay? These arrows that are going to fly from one end of the earth to the other, as the scripture says. And it says, uh, a fire before them, and a fire behind them, and a flame burner, and the land is as a garden of Edom before them, and behind them desolate wilderness. Yeah, nothing shall escape, so they're going to literally destroy everything and everyone. And it says, the appearance of them is the appearance of a horse, and a horse uh, and, and as horsemen, they shall run. So all these things, are, these missiles are going to be coming like horses galloping. All right. And I've never seen horses galloping, trip and fall all over each other when they're doing it in the wild naturally. All right. It says like the noise of the chariots at the top of the mountains. shall they leap in the noise of the flame for, uh, of the fire that devoured the stubble as a strong man set in a table array before their face. The people shall be much pained. All the faces shall gather blackness. They're gonna burn completely up. They're gonna feel horrific pain, man. The Lord is not gonna. The Lord is gonna leave the spirits in their bodies a little bit longer to let. It's gonna feel like they're gonna die uh, quickly, but it's gonna feel like an eternity. All right, it's gonna feel horrible. That's what they're talking about. The lake of fire. That's your hell right there. All right, the lake of fire is the, is 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 gonna be America on on fire from. From east to west, 5,000 square miles of, of fire is going to be lake, and it's going to be nothing left. And if you're not up on those chariots looking down, you know, through that glass, watching it happen, you're going to be a part of it, all right? And when, 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 I'm not trying to be a part of that, okay? And it says, and they shall run uh, like mighty men. And they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. All right, neither shall they thrust one another. They shall walk everyone in his path, and they shall fall upon the sword, and they shall not be wounded. So they're gonna go to every place where the Lord sent them. They shall run to and fro in the city, they shall run upon the wall, climb up upon the houses, and they shall enter to the windows like a thief. All right. The earth shall quake before them, and the heavens shall shall tremble, and the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars withdraw, uh, withdraw their shining, because it's gonna create darkness from all the smoke and the the gigantic mushroom clouds, you know. And it says, and and Yahweh shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong and executive his word. Uh, There we go. And executed his word for the day of Yahweh was great and very terrible. And who can abide in it? No one's going to live through it. This, that's, that's left down here on the ground at ground level as these missiles come down and make impact. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakudash, Wa Ababa Ba Kwam Yasharala Shalom.